Okay, we got the brain now, so... Before I pick any poison... I'll deliver this, I think. Maybe I get a hint as to which poison to pick. Maybe not. I think we should also pay a quick visit to Sophie. Okay, so she was in room 102, right? Yeah. Oh man, I've been looking forward to playing this all day. I really like this game. I think I might even like it more than the cat lady. Maybe because it's more casual for me since I can't relate to the problems as much. Since I've never had a... Well, at least I wouldn't say I never had... No, wait, let's not go there. <laughs> Let's just say I never had a crazy girlfriend and I never wanted to kill her. <laughs> this game is just just far more surreal than the cat lady. The cat lady really striked the whole depression thing, you know. It did this really well. Well, let's talk to Sophie before I ramble on even more. Um, I'll nothing new. It. Don't think too long. She has a red smudge on her forehead? Maybe this is a hint. Is there anything in our room? I don't think I've checked in here yet. Joe's bed? There's something laying... Letter part one. It's from Ivy. Part of the letter has been torn off. Let's read this. Maybe this is a hint. I miss you. I miss you too. You know. We work good together. Always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you. I like the way he's just looking at the screen now, as if to say, well, that's not much, is it? <laughs> oh, man. This is really weird. There's something wrong with her, but I can't yet say what. I don't know if she's addicted to drugs, or if she just has psychological problems because she got abused as a kid, which I think is true since... She said the whole thing with with the diet. You know? You don't put a kid on a diet. Especially not if it looks healthy enough. I mean, if it was a 200 pound kid and 8 years old, well, maybe you should think about changing the eating habits of your kid, but... Not if she's looking normal. I mean, what the fuck? Hey Sophie, did you miss me? Let's turn on the cooker, shall we? The gas is slowly I filling the room. Go. It's not safe here. Bye, Sophie. Do you have anything else to say before I go? Nope. Nope. She's she's gone. So what? Do I have to ignite this now somehow? Oh yeah, I've looked up what the castor oil is. Um, I know it now. I'm sorry, it, I just didn't know what it was. Sometimes I'm so bad with the English, you know? So I don't think I can use it for the bowl and the brain. Kitchen key, oh yeah, we can check out the kitchen. So, come on, um, ground floor. Ah, oh, this goddamn game. I actually don't want to progress. I don't want it to end. Kitchen door. Oh, I'll have to unlock it first. Yeah. Come on. Use the key. A blender. That's one big blender. 
no point switching it on now when it's empty. So I'll have to fill it. The cooking pot is empty. Turn on the hob. There's nothing in the pot. I would just burn it. Pig. Examine. Rotten pig. Nice. Ugh. Take the ice pick. Now, what could I use this for? Sharp and sturdy. Not here. Oh, don't tell me we're getting locked in the freezer. One of the few freezers in here that aren't completely frozen shut. It's frozen solid, I can't break it with my hands. I got just a thing for that, you know. Is this a passageway? What the fuck? Pig. I think it's dead, or just sleeping. I hope it's just sleeping. God damn it, I hate animal cruelty, and I hate seeing this. I know you're just a pig, but I want to tell you this. It's all your fault. Can we swap places? Sup. Fuck you. Sorry, dude. I screwed it up, man. Nah, forget it. Sorry, dude. Uh, okay. Did this change anything <laughs> in my game now? Take ice? I need some kind of vessel. I can't just carry it around in my hands. Oh, again, I got just to think for that. Oh. I can put the brain in there now, I think. Let's just hope it doesn't melt. So this isn't a passageway, it just looks like it. Okay. I can... Go to the basement again. Get the brain. Bring it to the German doctor. And then talk to him about the poison, maybe? What the pig? I don't know. I'm so close to picking the red poison because red is the only color in this game. Anyway. I can't just carry it yeah. upstairs in my hand. There's got to Yep. I got it. I got the way. I'm Ooh. not sure this would work, okay. but okay. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. <laughs> Are you really talking to a brain, Joe? Come on, buddy! Let's go on vacation! And let's fucking use the red poison. Because what's... What's the deal with waiting and solving puzzles the right I'm way? I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? Um... Well, here goes nothing. It's time for your medicine, girl. Let's do this first before we go to the doctor. Man, I hope the music stays this crazy. God damn it, I need to buy the soundtracks to these games. Wait, I had to go up, right? Fuck me. Fucked up already, I'm sorry. It's the music, it's distracting me. That's my excuse now. Come on, drop it. Okay, let's get Sophie. I'm sorry, I'm in a playful mood today. Just syringe. Dapper. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But. But what? Will it hurt? I'm not sure. How would I know? What does it matter? You'll be dead soon enough? I don't really know. I hope not. No, you won't feel a thing. I can't lie to her. I don't really know. I hope not. You don't know? Oh, fuck you, Sophie. Are you sure? It's. Are you even sure it's gonna kill me? Um... There was poison written on the bottle? By the picture of a skull? 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no professional at this. There was poison written on the bottle, and a picture of a skull. Okay, that sounds about right, I guess. <laughs> wow. But I'm gonna ask you、uh. one last favor. Come on, spill it. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please. I'm begging you. Why do you want to die so hard? I mean, this is no assisted suicide anymore. Then this is just killing you. Fuck me. Do I want to kill her? Do I want to kill Sophie? Oh, this is this is a. Oh man. Do I or don't I refuse or give injection? You know what, Sophie? Fuck you. No. Do it yourself. I don't want your blood on my hands. Yeah. But Joe. Fuck you. You are already covered in it. What? From head to toes. I said no. Fine. I'll do it myself. Good. Perhaps I should. Yes. Good luck, Joe Davis. Thank you, Sophie. For what it's worth. I hope you find your Ivy. My Ivy. So, would she suffer now? Oh wow! I guess we picked the wrong one. Well, I I can't be sure about that. Maybe she didn't suffer. Maybe it just happened too fast for her to suffer. Oh. Something in the big mirror broke, and her corpse is gone. What the fuck? Dress. The body's gone. I knew she wasn't real. But what's this dress still doing here? Not real, Joe. Take a fucking look around, man. Do you see this blood? It wasn't there before. And the dress wasn't there before either. You know? You're going crazy, dude. Let's visit the doctor. Maybe he can do something about that. Where was he? Third floor, right? Yeah. Wait, where's the, where's the lift on this floor? Have I seen this yet? Did I came through here? Yeah, I think I must have. Let's take a look at this mirror, though. It makes me feel like I'm being watched. So my guess is that I have to kill all the Sophies and then I can go into this mirror. And there I will find Ivy, or、oh, Ivy's monster, or my monster, or at least something. Oh man! I really didn't want Sophie to die. Actually, she had a nice voice actor. Guess it was on the second floor, where the creepy receptionist lady also was. Said to stop by at her office, but I don't know where this is, really. Okay, Joe. They are all still locked, I guess. But I don't know which room it was, where the doctor is. So I'll have to check each and every one of them again. I'm sorry. I think it was this one, right? No. Okay. Well, fuck. Oh, I remember this. I need a new ten-pound note, right? Yeah, as you can tell, it's been again a while since I last played this. But as I said, I've been looking forward to it, and I really enjoy this game, even though it's just walking around, trying out doors. This one. Two o six, I think. Before we talk to the doctor, examine. Oh no, sorry, use. <laughs> It's almost clean. Can we wear it? No thanks. The brain. Is this what the crazy doctor wanted from the cellar? Huh. 
Huh. Ah, I see you have it. I Quick, do. give it to me. Give it to me, boy. I will. I will, Dr. C. Here you have it. Use. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes. Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it anyway. Hmm. This is real philosophical, you know. It's the question. Who will he revive now? The one the brain belongs to? Or the one the body belongs to? Where is the soul? Where is the self? So shut up and do it already. You can't just plant a dead brain inside her head. Fingers crossed, dog. You can't just plant a dead brain inside her head. And yet that is exactly what we'll do. Me? I'll stay and watch just to say told you when this fails. That is quite all right with me. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here. Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Oh, jeez. This is disgusting, you know. Put some elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. Fuck me. And a little push? Hmm, maybe this way? It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! Um, so this is how you do brain transplants. Now I'm sure you really are mad. I'm beginning to wish I'd never met you. Now I'm sure you really are mad. You keep saying that, yet you held that woman's head exactly like I asked. Yeah. What does that say about you to follow the instructions of a madman? Oh, fuck you. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wouldn't care either way. Let's focus on our task. Now that everything is ready, it is time. Carry her to the chair? For the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. You're so full of crap, I haven't really been listening. No, let's let's be kinda nice to him because I get the feeling we need him. No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I let you do the honors. Which There's honors? a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Okay. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spine. That's, that's that's right, cool. actually. Now, the lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. Jesus Christ. I mean... Is this another assisted murder or something? Tempting. He even walks creepily, holy shit. Look at his legs, look at his tiny legs, and his tiny feet. So now what? I don't understand. Have what? we run out of power? Oh. Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. So he leaves us alone with the body? And what am I supposed to do? Of course it didn't work. You're a madman. Don't strain your spine while you investigate your stupid fuse. Don't strain your spine while you investigate your stupid fuse. I don't think he could hear me. Sit on the old Sparky? That's a terrible idea. There really is nothing I can do with the body. I would have thought it would give me anything, you know. Something. Hello? Um. Where? What is- Okay, so it did work. Hello? Hello. I'm here. Don't you worry. Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. Yeah, you got nothing okay. on you, okay? 
I'm not going to hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I'm not wearing anything. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Girl, um, yeah, take this dress. Here, put this on. Is it even the right si- wow. It magically changed, what the fuck? Really? A wedding dress? What else do you want to wear? What's wrong with it? Yep, you'll be the bride of Frankenstein. I'm sorry all the shops were closed. I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat. How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. Um... I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress. And good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You Fuck can see you. damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if you brought one. Oh, that would be then cute. what are you moaning for? Who's moaning? You're moaning. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Come on, show yourself now. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Oh, fuck me. You know what? Fuck you. No, I can't go over there. Fuck. Yeah, there's blood on it. I'm sorry. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? Um... Yep. Kinda on- no, of course not. Let's not lie to her. I, I want to be as honest as possible in this playthrough, I think. Because it seems Joe is kinda... lying to himself most of the time, I think. Kinda? You can't kinda butcher somebody. Oh, I can. What are you? An expert at Believe butchering? Believe me, I can. No. A normal sane person? Ha! Did that fool you? Did what fool me? Oh. How do I look? Pretty cute, actually. You are right, you look awful. You look very nice. Different than I expected. Beautiful. Like a zombie in a wedding dress. <laughs> like a gypsy princess. You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Good. Yeah, you look good. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I go reanimate somebody else now. <laughs> oh, game. For being about such a... You know... Such a serious topic? You can be really funny, you know? <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. That, you know, it's not just all heavy and dark. So what do I answer? Good. Yeah, you look good. Good. You, yeah. You look good. I do? Mm, yep. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So... Good, but not. Oh come on! Great. She's Actually, a real woman, you know. You know what? You you do look great. Yep, totally great. Green eyes, very pretty. Lovely posture, and the hair—it's very curly, long, <laughs> and black. Wow! Oh stop it! I meant the dress. Huh? I know damn well my eyes are green and my hair is black. What I want to know is this. How do I look in this dress? You look good. G great. I'm warning you. Oh. Different than I expected, beautiful. Oh, okay, so. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Thanks. I kind of do, don't I? Yes. I never pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey, I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Do you at least remember your name? What are you going to do? How did you... die? Let's not speak about her death, because I'm not sure she knows she was dead. 
Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? No. I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. No, I didn't care enough to remember it, sorry. I think your name was Martha. Oh, I like this name. I'm pretty sure your name was Dorothy. It was something retro. Gladys, I think. Or Phyllis. No, I don't know, sorry. Your name is Agnes? Hmm, no idea, but I'm pretty sure your mother's name was Sheila. <laughs> this is a reference to the cat lady. <laughs> you know, in the hospital, when we had to... To talk to this drugged up lady. No, I didn't care. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's either the option to say we don't care about her and her name, or we can name her however we want. Martha is pretty nice. Dorothy is also okay. Gladys, Phyllis. Uh, no, I don't know. Sorry. I'll go with this because I actually don't know her name. Agnes seems. I feel like I, I've read or heard this name before but I'm not sure no I don't know sorry but you're not a bad guy no are you? of course not I hope not you're not carrying any knives on you don't not worry right now. a machete I'm not a bad guy but I have a lot going on yeah so please don't make me guess and just tell me your name all right it's Agnes oh and please if you do decide to turn evil, just give me enough warning to start running away screaming, okay? Ditto. Sure. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me With the creeps. With me? There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? I'll try, but I can't promise anything. And what if I am the big bad wolf? I promise I'll keep you safe. Let's not promise anything because I get the feeling she will die later on. I'll try. But I can't promise anything. Yep. Sure thing. Taking care of damsels in distress isn't really your thing, is it? There's a guy with a goddamn axe out there. It'll be alright. I'll try not to bleed all over you when he chops me to pieces. Oh, thank you. Um, how did you die? My name is Joe Davis, by the way. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. What? It does. I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. Oh. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Really? Of course I've still got okay. it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Um. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. Yeah. Let's... Is that okay? Around. Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Yeah, okay. We'll have to walk off the screen, I guess. Oh, shit. Run! Agnes, what the fuck are you doing? Let's fucking save in case I can do anything here. Agnes, run! What is this? What is this? Can I use this? Okay, let's protect her. He won't get his hands on her. Fuck you. Kill me, you bitch. Oh shit, he kills her as well? Is this game over? Wow. Continuous Joe. Continuous Agnes.